And so here we are in my small and very quickly filling up little games room. I'll run through all the games in my collection, picking out one highlight game as we go to quickly discuss. But first of all, let's check out the consoles. So I was wondering if anybody has any advice on how I can link all of these consoles up to my small CRT. Obviously the Switch is fine because that's linked up straight to that. But yeah, if anyone knows of any uh, devices or anything that I can plug straight into, so everything's constantly hooked up to that TV, I'd be really grateful. I don't need to discuss every single console, guys. You all know exactly what each of them are. And then just over here, I have a lit up shelving unit. From the top working down, we have my Final Fantasy VII Remake poster that's been framed, my Nathan Drake statue, and then PlayStation 1 through 4, with my £20 bargain Xbox 360 just to the side of that. So yes, guys, if any of you know of any devices that will link all these consoles to that TV, I'd really appreciate it. And then I'm sure you've noticed my uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition 1UP Arcade Machine. That was an absolute steal at £80 from someone that I work with. They never used it. They were actually storing it behind their sofa. So yeah, his missus was uh, more than happy to let me take this away for literally next to nothing as far as i'm concerned at 80 quid absolute bargain guys let's start diving into some of the games so starting from this shelf working from the top down there is my mega drive collection it's safe to say my pick of all those is definitely dungeons and dragons warriors of the eternal sun i really hope you don't see too much of a trend here because i definitely love my rpgs and that really is a cracking one for the Mega Drive guys. So yeah, Warriors of the Eternal Sun's my pick for my Mega Drive collection. Working down, we have, well, oddly my most uh, modern stuff and some of my most old stuff on the same shelf. So as far as the PlayStation 5 goes, yeah, honestly, I think Elden Ring's probably the pick there. What an absolutely fantastic game. Um, if you've not played Elden Ring and you want a challenge, Go for Elden Ring. Absolutely brilliant. Moving over slightly, we're going really retro here. Behind is E.T. for the Atari 2600 boxed. That, I got that for £11 at half past three in the morning when I used to work early shifts. Uh, so, you know, someone's trying to sell that at that time in the morning. You can't expect too many bids, so I jumped on that. That's impossible mission for the Atari 7800 combat. And then for the Intellivision, we have... AD&D. &D. It's a lovely, uh, lovely piece of art on the front of that. That's a Coplay Hagen guidebook. Just discusses a few shops in and around Copenhagen. So there you go. My pick from all that. I don't know. It's got to be E.T. It's got to be the worst game ever made, hasn't it? Love it. And then we have The Empire Strikes Back and Qbert. Right then. So let's go down once more. My small but humble PlayStation 1 collection there. The pick of that being Grandia. Absolutely lovely RPG. Very, very underrated. I'd say that's crying out for a remake. What a lovely game. Really is nice, Grandia. And it, well, Worms. Can't go wrong with Worms. My small PSP collection also. I'd say God of War Chains of Olympus has got to be one of the best ones I own here. So yeah, that is my PSP, my white PSP and my collection. Moving down to the PlayStation 4 and Vita. I only have the three Vita games plus some Final Fantasy stuff. Guys, you'll notice my Final Fantasy collection isn't part of this. I actually have my own shelf set up dedicated for Final Fantasy stuff. Now, my favourite Vita game... There has got to be Persona 4. Sorry, God of War Collection. You are absolutely amazing, but you know Persona 4 in my mind. And then my PlayStation 4 Collection. Right there. It's really, really tempting, guys, to say Persona 5. Instead, I'm going to go with Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. And there's the PS3 Collection, guys. Now, I'm actually going to take two games from this. 
One being Tales of Grace's F. It was my first ever Tales of game and I absolutely adore it. I still do even now. And then I am going to add a second one in only for this console. And that is my uh, Monkey Island Special Edition. Absolutely flipping superb game. That really is good. If you like your point and click adventures. Well, if you like your point and click adventures, chances are you've played Monkey Island anyway. But yeah, what an absolute banger. There's my... Vita, a few games behind it, including two copies of Assassin's Creed. That must have been before I was keeping my uh, CLZ log. A few random bits down there, including my Final Fantasy Ultimania archives, the first and second volume. That big one there is the guide to 7, 8 and 9 hardback, and that is the 13 trilogy next to it. A few random Pokemon cards and whatnot in one of them folders is a complete base set. But yeah, let's not linger around that. Have a couple of copies of Retro Gamer down there. And then Super Mario holding a PS4 controller, of course. Right, let's move on over to this set of shelves here. We'll start off from the bottom this time. We have a few random collector's edition bits down here, including my Uncharted 4 Thieves End box set. My Zelda 3DS. Skyward Sword, Majora's Mask 3DS XL. Persona 5 and my Mega Drive case. And then my Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order droid. I have a couple of cubes down here which I use to store wires and controllers in. Yeah, and that's everything that's on the floor. So here we have my complete Final Fantasy collection. Now, I'm not going to hang around here too long. If anyone would like me to discuss this further, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll happily discuss Final Fantasy all day long. I really will. And I'm also not going to give a favourite on it because I've recently done a top 10 Final Fantasy games video. So go check that out if you want to hear my thoughts on my... Top few Final Fantasy games. Right then, here we go. Let's start off with my PlayStation 2 collection. Now, you'll have to excuse me. I've not took the prices off some of these, as you can see. I do mean to do it. But uh, I haven't got around to it just yet. So, here we go. I'll quickly go along here. There's my uh, Kratos. Guys, I'm not 100% sure what... This Kratos statue was actually from, was it God of War 3? I'm not too sure. I didn't get it with the game, I actually purchased it separately. So if anyone knows what uh, God of War game that was actually released with, I'd really, really be interested in knowing. So my pick for the PlayStation 2 game is going to be The Summoner. I really enjoyed this game. It was a nice action RPG and I did really enjoy it. I do appreciate guys that every game I'm coming out with is an RPG but that's just the way it is. You can't help but what you like can you? So moving up we have my black Wii just here along with a selection of GameCube games. Now Kirby's Air Ride has to be an absolutely awesome GameCube game. So I'm going to go with Kirby's Air Ride for my choice there. And moving on to my Wii collection, as you can see, a nice copy of uh, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. That could possibly be my pick, but actually no. I'm going to go with Metal Slug Anthology, which I got from a charity shop for an absolute bargain price of £2.50. So my choice for the Wii is Metal Slug Anthology. Here's my Wii U and Wii U games. Now, I appreciate it's kind of small, but it is growing sort of rapidly because I am making the effort to pick up as many Wii U games as I can while they're still affordable because, I mean, I say regularly, I do think they're going to go up in price and I stand by that statement. Now, my Wii U choice game is going to be New Super Mario Bros. U. Oddly, I've just bought it for the Nintendo Switch, but I've only done that because the Switch is kind of a little bit easier to play. It's always hooked up to the TV. Of course, there's handheld as well. So, yeah, my choice of Wii U game is New Super Mario Bros. U. And, yeah, that is my Wii U collection. We have my Streets of Rage 4 Signature Edition Collector's Set. A couple of little collectibles there, including the Majora's Mask statue that I got with the uh, 3DS Collector's Edition. And there's my Switch games right there. Now, 
The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is one of my favourite games of all time, and I really did enjoy this remaster, or remake even. So let's go with my pick for the Switch is The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Now here mixed together are my 3DS and Nintendo DS games. Now my pick for the Nintendo DS has to be Chrono Trigger. It's an absolutely legendary RPG that I'm sure most of you have checked out at some point. If you've not, definitely go do it. It's possibly the pinnacle of 16-bit RPG gaming. And then for the 3DS, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D was an absolutely amazing remake of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I can't recommend it enough. It just absolutely perfects the original so yeah, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. I have a few Game Boy games here, including Zelda Minish Cap. Really, really cool. That is my Nintendo DS, along with my little Yoshi statue. 3DS and Sephiroth. That there is Final Fantasy for the Wonder Swan color. Now I'm sorry about the reflection on some of these guys. It's because all of my N64 and Super Nintendo box games are in plastic protective cases. And it does just mean the sun reflects off them a little bit. Um, Super Mario All-Stars has to be... No, 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 I've changed my mind. Let's go Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Now that is an American copy. It was the only way you can get it here in the UK. They never actually released it over here. So, yeah, I'm going to make that my pick. And then, well, actually, for the N64, that's nice and easy. Let's go Banjo-Kazooie. It's one of the first games I ever owned on the Super Nintendo. Actually, it was the first game I ever owned on the Super Nintendo. Shortly afterwards, I got Ocarina of Time, but that's definitely my N64 choice. You can see my cartridges here, which I've got on cardboard stands. And then there's my loose N64 games along with Box Zelda and then the Adventures of Link for the NES. Over here we have Teenage Turtles and Airwolf and a couple of loose N64 games. World Cup 98, now I don't buy sports games, but look guys, it was 49p. I'm gonna leave that behind. We have Turok 2, Seeds of Evil, the only black cartridge I've got. Episode 1 Racer. Turok Rage Wars. And... Oh, they're all falling down. We have Extreme G. Loose. I'll, uh, I'll sort them out in a bit, shall I? Moving up, we have my Zelda Manga. 25 years of Pokemon Silver Pikachu Pop Vinyl. Lovely copy of Pokemon Red. Again, it's reflective because it's in a plastic protective case. Uh, that cost quite a lot of money, that did I? Not long at it in the last 12 months or so. Trading card game and then this bootleg Pokemon trading card game too. Here comes Team Great Rocket. <laughs> we have Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure for the Atari Lynx. You can see what's going on here. That's my McDonald's Global Gladiators game. And then my Diablo 2 Battle Chest. Above that we have my £2 Bowser's Castle that I got from a charity shop. The woman didn't know what it was. She'd not even priced it up. So she said I could have it for two quid. And then the last of my bits and pieces up here, guys. So there we go. As I said during the video, if anyone has any advice on how I can link multiple old school consoles up to one CRT TV, I'd really appreciate that. It'd be really nice to not have to constantly be trying to dig through for cables, wiring it all in, this, that and the other. That'd be absolutely brilliant if there's something out there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I had a fantastic time making this tour. I'll do another one again in a few years. If you want to check out my top 10 Final Fantasy games, just click this video here. In the second half especially, I definitely open up a little bit because some of these games are my favourite ever made and they mean the absolute world to me. So until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you again real soon.